Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be working with arrays. Uh, we're going to declare an array. Uh, the name of our array will be max. So we're going to declare this within the main function. Your yeah, max of size 5. Yeah, once we declare it is also possible for us to assign at the same time the values of the arrays. So as you can see, our array is of size 5 and therefore this allows us to assign uh, 5 integers. It is of integer type. So after having assigned that, now we can look at how we can be able to output the values that have been assigned to this particular array. We can use printf. Now inside our printf, you can be able to specify exactly the data you're going to output. Uh, let's assume if we are going to fetch the third element from the array. This implies we're looking at value 96. So if we use max subscript 3, then this gives us 96 because we count from 0. And if we count from 0, uh, 12 being subscript 0, and then 45 subscript 1, 85 subscript 2, and 96 subscript 3. So let's see the output you're going to get from this. Yeah, there it is. The third element is 96. Forget about that part where we are talking about the third element. Obviously, this is the fourth element, but the implication is here is if you're trying to output uh, the element with subscript 3, then you're going to get 96. What if we change it to 0? What are we going to get? Definitely, we're going to get the very first element of that particular array. That is max subscript 0. That is equivalent to the 12th value that we've got there because that's the first value that has been assigned to this particular array. Now, if we change it to 4 again, we basically are going to get the very last value because the size is size 5 and counting is from 0 to 4. That makes it 5 and therefore that fetches us the very last element and that is 75 as you can see on the screen here. Yeah. Okay. Now, let's try something else. Now, if we're going to get, now we got we we declare our array again, and then this time we are not declaring and assigning there. There's a different way that we can be able to declare and assign. First, declare the array, then go and begin to assign values to that particular array using just the subscript. I can see we say max subscript zero we have given it 45 max subscript one we can give it another value such as 25 and then max subscript two we can also give it a value such as 66 now max subscript three remember we are supposed to go all the way to subscript four for us to be able to get the size of 5. So subscript 3, we assign 74. And max subscript 4, which is the last element now, we are going to assign value for 55. Now, again, the same procedure on how we are going to output. Just like we have done in the previous exercise, the same thing that we're going to do. We basically just use the printf. Using the printf, we are able to access these values. And remember, since now it is the, the array is of integer type, then this implies we must work with a percentage D. It's very important we work with it. That's the only way we are going to be able to get these values out. I mean, to output these particular values from the array. So percentage D. And then we declare the max and the subscript the name of the array and the subscript that we intend to access and we terminate.
So let's try that one out. So uh, is it working? Yeah, it's working. Subscript zero is 45. Therefore, you're able to get that value. You can format the output. Let's give it some space in there. Yeah, that looks better. The value of the first element is 45. So you can try for the others. Just copy paste, copy paste until we get the five of them. Then change the subscript values to three. And then the last one is four. Let's try it out. If we execute what we get, there. But you see the formatting not quite yet there we need a sync we need each output to be on its own line so we can work with uh, we can use the backslash n to give us the, ne the next line to move to the next line yeah, let's see how that one works let's execute it now Yeah, I think that's better now. Yeah, well organized now. Yeah. Okay. But just, just, just imagine if you add an array of size 100 and you wanted to put all the elements in that particular array, it's going to take a lot of print Fs and you can just write all those print Fs. So basically what you need now is to work with a loop, uh, the looping structure or the iteration structure and we can use uh, four. Four loop can help us do that so we we declare int x which we assign to zero we initialize to zero then we have x while it is less than five because we're looking for x that will be to a, up to a value of four then we can perform the increment from zero so let's see what this one gives us it makes things much more easier now we we reduce the amount of coding that we are writing using the for loop So let's execute and see what we're going to get. Yeah, there it is. it is. It is able to fetch the values from the array, but we need some formatting here. Let's format it. Yeah, that's better. Let's try it again. Remove all unnecessary spacing. Okay, let's execute it now see what we're going to get if you run this code what do you get there formatting is much better now it's a nice output okay now you that that was for loop now we can try it using while loop and see uh, the kind of arrangement of the code that we're going to have. So we declare our x, x identifier, that is variable identifier, then the while loop, when it is less than five, you are still maintaining that less than five. So you put that on there. Then remember we must, we must initialize this x, initialize it to zero. Uh, if we run it, what do we get? No, this one, this one is going to give us infinite loop. Since we don't have a way of incrementing the x value, so that it can terminate when it goes beyond uh, the value four, so it gives us an infinite loop. So we can do something about that. What we need is an increment. So x plus plus. That's remember that's equivalent to x is equals to x plus one. Let's try it now. There, it's working now. 
yeah, it has managed to fetch all the values from the array. And that is wonderful.